Welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be doing the drop link bushes and the anti-roll bar bushes. So I'm doing all the lot. I'm changing them to poly bush uh, just for the fact that they're longer lasting. Nothing to do with uprating the bushes in any way. Um, it should be a fairly simple job. For the anti-roll bar bushes there's just one bolt there and then it unhooks out of the subframe. For these ones you just undo the 21mm bolt at the bottom and then slide it off the anti-roll bar. Uh, and then you've got to push the bushes out of the drop link and replace them. And then this one you've got to obviously take the bracket off and then the bush should be split at the back so you'll be able to pry it off. Um, it can be a bit tricky so you've got to undo both sides at the same time and it makes it a bit easier, a bit more play in the anti-roll bar itself. So I'm going to start with undoing both drop link bottom bolts that go all the way through to the front of the shock as well. There's the nut. So 21mm on both sides and then the bolt should knock all the way out. Right, so I'm going to cheat a little bit and use an impact gun. I've um, got 21mm on a ratchet and 21mm on the gun. So I'm just going to gun this side off. I probably won't need the ratchet on the other side, but I'll put it on anyway. Maybe I will need it. I think my impact gun's half dead. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side before knocking the bolts out. Now I'm going to get my copper hammer and just tap that bolt. It should come straight out. Like that. Then I think I might just tap, might try and tap the water actually. Yeah. Obviously, if your bolt's seized, you won't be able to do this. But mine's been out recently. Now, the same on the other side. Alright, so now that there's no tension on it, you can just see how much play is in there. If I pull it to this side, you can see that big gap that opens up. That's how it should be. And that's what it looks like when I pull it to the side. I've sprayed it with silicon spray and got it in under the bush. Now I'm just going to get a big set of grips and try and force it off with the grips. If that don't work, then I'll have to think of something else. So I've got it to there with the grips, it's almost off, now I just need to wiggle it and probably pull it off, I can probably pull it off like that, I pull it straight up, I'll push it from this side so you can see it, and there we go, that's the drop link off, it's already started pulling the bush out, is that worn, I think that, pu that bush might even push out, there you go. That's going to be getting replaced. I'm going to push this one out on the press. Uh, if you don't have a press, you can probably just burn it out with a blowtorch. So I've just thought of another way you could do it. If you've got a vice, then you can use a couple of sockets. I think that's a 32 and a 22. The 32 fits nicely around the outside of the bush. And then the 22 will push the bush into the big socket. So I'll put that in the vice, clamp it together, and it should push the bush out. So I've just pushed the bush out, it's now inside the big socket, you can see it falls out. So that's the old bush, and now I'm going to put poly bushes in and put it back on the van. So these bushings are ProFlex I believe, uh, that's the bottom one, and that's the top one, you can see. Now if you look at this one carefully, you can see it's got a rib on this side and this side's nice and smooth so you want to put this side in first and then it should slip in nice and easy same with this one I think yeah this side's got the rib this side's smooth I think it's just where they've poured it but it just happens to be that this side's nice and smooth and then the, those are the actual anti-roll bar bushes it even comes with four new washers for the bottom shock bolt. So I'm going to start by putting some grease on this and then pushing the bush in. Another thing you can use is silicon spray. Sometimes you use that. It can get a bit messy. 
This is just general multi-purpose grease, nothing fancy. A lot of them come with grease, a lot of the polybush kits, so you can grease it up. This one obviously didn't. And then another thing I usually do is push the bush, the metal insert out. So I managed to get the insert out without damaging it, so I think this should just push in my hand now. Just like that. So that's the bottom one done. Now I can put the insert back in. Don't think it'll need any grease. There we go. I need a little bit more. I think I'm just going to clamp it in the vise and wiggle it until it centralises. And then I'm going to do the other one, same method. Grease the edge and push it in with the vise. And then finish it off by hand, just pushing it against the table. So that's one done now. I'm going to do the other side and then put them both back on the van. Alright, so I've just got the other one off and the bush stayed in this one. So what I'm going to do is cut this edge off with either a hacksaw or a Stanley blade. And then use the same method as I did with the other end, with the two sockets and the vise. So another thing that's worth mentioning is you need to make sure that the inside of these ends are perfectly clean before you put the bush in. Mine was painted but it rusted under the paint, so cleaned it all out with a, a wire wheel on a die grinder. So that's now ready for the new bush. Right, so they're both ready now. I've got the washers and I've also got those to put on still. But I'm going to put one of these on, find out the best way to do it, and then I'll show you doing the other one. Alright, so just before I take this ratchet strap off, I'm just going to show you how I've managed to do it. Uh, the usual method is use a big bar up the back of this bolt, leave this bolt sticking out, put a big bar at the back and then you can just push it over, but with poly bushes being so much stiffer, the bar, you've got absolutely no chance. So what I've done is I've put this ratchet strap up the back of the bottom arm, around the bush, and obviously back into the ratchet and then I've just tightened it up a bit it sort of pulls it down at an angle so I just pull it back forwards like that and that pushes the top in just keep going little by little and then it'll work its way on and then if we take the strap off you can see that it's fully seated now not going anywhere so I'm just going to do the other side exactly the same technique and then I'll be moving on to doing these bushes up here. Right, so that's both sides done now. Uh, this side took about a minute, including setting the ratchet up. Um, just spread. Well, I'll clean this end up with a wire wheel first because it had been painted by the previous owner. And then I sprayed a lot of that silicon spray, silicon grease on it. And then, like I say, use the ratchet over it just to pull it on. I pulled it on nice and even and just keep prying the bottom out to so it doesn't like pull it down that way because um, it does try and pull this bottom end that way obviously you've got to keep correcting it but if you just do it little bit, little by little it does work its way on like I said this side took about a minute obviously the other side took longer because I had to figure that out so now I've done that we'll be doing these debushes up here right, so I've already done the debush on the other side started by taking the 16mm bolt out of there so next I'm going to be getting a little pry bar, I'm just going to leave that bracket up. I've turned the steering all the way towards me to make more access. And now that's free, I can push it up out of the way and remove the old bush. And then the old bush is already split, I'll move that bracket out of the way first. The old bush is already split so it should just pull out. Just like that, and now I'm going to get the new poly bush. So there's the new poly bush. I'm just going to spray some silicone lube on the anti roll bar, just makes it a little bit easier to line things up and hopefully stops it squeaking once it's fitted. So I'm going to put this bracket back in place first. Now, you can see how it's got a split in the poly bush, so that just goes over the anti-roll bar with the curved side to the top, if you like, 
That's how the splits to the bottom. And slide it into place. I'm just going off where the old bush has been set, where you can see it's clean from the bush being in place. Now I'm just going to pull this bracket back down. Now it's not going to go all the way down because the poly bush is so much stiffer than a normal rubber bush. So I'll just, I'll just make sure that the bracket and the poly bush are flush with each other. I'll try and get it past that boot on the steering rack. And then same as we did with the drop links, I'm going to be using the ratchet strap to pull that bracket down and uh, it just holds it in place nicely and I can't find any other tools that I've got to hand that will hold that in place whilst I put the bolt in without being in the way. Uh, I've tried pry bars and all sorts and it's, it's not easy so ratchet strap's the easiest way. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go up there under the anti-roll bar over that bracket and then down the back of the subframe. Right, so as you can see I've got the ratchet strap in place now and I'm just going to ratchet it underneath the subframe and then it should pull that bracket down nicely and hopefully not damage this steering boot. Right, so I've finally managed to get the bracket back in place. I put the 16mm bolt back in, tighten it all the way down. All that's left now to do is put the long bolts back in the bottom of the shock on both sides and put the wheels back on. Uh, I'm going to leave those out because I've got another video to do on inner CV boots. So, like I say, just put those bolts back in and that's job done. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see, let us know in the comments and I'll see what I can come up with. Thanks for watching.